at this point in my life, I don't really ever see myself going back on the pill. There's someone there. Hello? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Before this weekly vlog gets started, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this week's weekly vlog it is nasty gal i haven't done a little nasty gal haul in a while so i thought i would show you some pieces that i'm obsessed with i'm gonna try and run through it fairly quickly just because there's quite a lot here and i don't want to like spend 20 minutes talking about everything i also have my extensions in today so that's a bit fun my hair doesn't even look that much longer i think because it's like because it is curled but it looks, oh, I love having their extensions. It's just so much fun. I will have everything from Nasty Gal linked down below. Um, I pretty much get everything in a size four or a size six about that. I am five feet tall, but everything will be in the description box as always. My discount code with Nasty Gal is Connor55, and that'll get you 55% off. Thank you so much to Nasty Gal for supporting my channel and sponsoring this weekly vlog, and let's jump straight into it. So first things first is this jumper that I'm wearing. It's been weird weather lately if you're from Brisbane or literally even just like the east coast of Australia. I feel like it's just been rain, 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 rain. Today is not too bad. I'm so excited for cooler weather. Like I love summer, but I love winter and just being able to wear jeans and being able to wear jumpers and just, just wear more clothes. So first up, we have this jumper. Nasty Gal honestly is the best place to get oversized jumpers or just like basics. So this is like a deep, kind of like a deep teal blue shade and it just says Boston, Massachusetts, Mass how do you say that? Massachusetts, Mass, Massachusetts. I'm so sorry. Athletic. And I really like it, super cozy, love the color. I also have this green t-shirt. You're gonna see a lot of green in this haul. I am like frothing green at the moment. Green and brown, I'm obsessed with. So I just picked up a plain, really soft, basic tee. Like I said, basics from Nasty Gal are the best. This one's not like super huge. Like I tend to get very, very oversized tees. This is in a size small, but like because it's already oversized, you don't need to go up a size. Um, so it's like a really pretty sage green color, nice and soft. Then, this is very unlike me. This type of brown, I'm obsessed with. Like that chocolate, really warm, <laughs> really warm tone brown right now, I think is so gorgeous. I love this. So this is in like a faux leather kind of look, which is, yeah, very unlike me. But I was like, you know what? I think this could be a vibe. I would love these in a pant form as well. Like that would be sick. So yeah, the skirt actually fits really, really nicely. And it also looks really good with this bodysuit. I am also loving this. This is like a real slinky fabric. And it's in, like if I compare them, so this is a lot more warm tone, whereas this is more like purpley. It's so stunning. Really, really pretty paired together. I love mixing tones of the same color. So wearing like all green, well, not all green, but different tones. So even though this is very brown, it's different types of brown, so it, like, it works. Plus mixing like together fabrics is also a really cute look. So I love that. Simple high neck bodysuit, lovely. I'm also really into pants at the moment. Very flowy pants. I think they're just so much fun. I think I spent so long not wearing pants for some reason, and now I just can't stop. So firstly, I have these like dress pants. These fit really well. They do need to be hemmed because I am a short gal. If you're tall, you'll have no problem. It does come with a little belt like this. Personally, I think it looks better without the belt. Um, so you can take it on and off. Oh, I didn't cut the tag off. Very, very wide leg, once again, in like a sage. Oh, this is more of a khaki green, actually. These are in a size six. So, so cool. I think wearing pants like this with really chunky shoes and maybe like a really small little crop top looks so cute. Or an oversized blazer as well. That's a vibe. And then I also have these pants, which are literally the most comfortable thing on this planet. I'm so, I don't, I'm gonna wear these probably when I stop filming this video. <laughs> They're like really stretchy, kind of just like basic linen, like wide leg, easy bikini cover up type of pants. These are in a size six and they're kind of like a very light gray color. They actually make your bum look really nice and they've got pockets, 
just super comfortable pants. Once again, they are a little bit long. Pretty much all pants from Nasty Gal are long on me. So that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, love these. So, so comfy. Then we got some shorts. Mum shorts, I would say. In a really pretty, like, pinky nude colour. And they're definitely like a long short, so like 80s mum short. And it's in like a real denim fabric. These are in a size 6. Just super cute, something a bit different as opposed to like regular blue denim shorts. And you could totally roll up the leg if you wanted to. But yeah, they fit really, really nicely. Super cute. Then these pants, I am obsessed with. I'm obsessed with plaid. I have a pair of pants similar to these that I am obsessed with at the moment and I wear them all the time. I love them. So these are in a size four actually and they fit like really, really well. I would say with Nasty Gal, maybe size, not size down, but I definitely find that if I'm thinking, oh, should I be a size eight or size six? I find that it's always the smaller size. That's the one that fits the best. So yeah, these are like a light colored plaid, very wide leg pant again. Yeah, just really, really fun. I love these types of pants. I think they're sick. I really just want to get more platforms because I think they look really cool with pants like this and I can use the height. Love those. I also have a pair of jeans. I recently decluttered a bunch of my jeans just because a lot of them didn't really fit anymore. So I gave a lot to like Freya and my friends. So I got some more Nasty Gal jeans. If you've never tried them, honestly, they are so, so good. Most of my favorite jeans are from Nasty Gal. They just fit so beautifully. So these are in a size six. They've got little like Nasty Gal denim. They're like a very light wash denim. <laughs> They're kind of stretchy. They're not like a super rigid denim, which is nice, but they're not like fake denim where it feels like really gross. I roll up the ankle because I'm short. And then that's what the legs look like. So there's kind of like a big tear and then some like distressing down the leg. Super cool. Just like a really nice pair of like chill boyfriend jeans. Really, really love those. I'm so excited to wear jeans again, guys. You have no idea. I want an opportunity to wear a blazer. I think I just need to get more confident and wear a blazer as like a jumper or as my jackets to places because they just look so cool. Like a blazer over a crop top and some pants. Like even the checkered pants would be so cool. So this is like in, I actually have the matching pants that I showed on my Instagram story a little while ago. Um, so this is like in a dark charcoal gray. It's got shoulder pads. It's not like super oversized, but it's not like really, really small and fitted. I just think blazers just are so cool. They just ooze bad bitch energy. And it's really nice quality. Like if you wanted to wear that to the office, you totally could. It looks super professional. Am I okay? Super profesh, really badass, very much a vibe. And then this, oh my God, I posted a photo in this because the color, because the color just has my heart. Like I said, I'm obsessed with green right now. And this is very much like that olive green. It's coming off a little bit weird on camera. It's much nicer in real life. Like it's such a true green. This is like a big button up shirt. This is in a size four. The sleeves, I've got them rolled up at the moment, but they're super, super, just very, very wide. Could totally wear this as like a dress or like tuck it into some pants or jeans or whatever. But I was just drawn to this from the color. To me, every single person looks good in green. It just is like a great color. It complements so many people. I love that. Okay, and then coming towards the end now, I got myself some like leather pants or pleather or POV. Is that what it's called? No, that's point of view. <laughs> is it POV? It's obviously not real leather, but they are some leather or pleather pants. And I think these could be from the petite section. I'll have to double check, but hopefully everything I'm showing you to isn't sold out. Because Sometimes things can be sold out. I'll try and find like everything and link them, but they have little like slit on the front of the leg, which I think is really in right now. And I really like it. I think it's really fun. This is literally my first pair of leather pants and like that skirt, very out of my comfort zone. I would have never worn anything like this, literally like a year ago. Slowly exploring what style I like. And I think, yeah, the leather pant look or even the wet leather pant look, I'm very much here for. It's sick. Such a good going out pant. Like, it just dresses up an outfit without literally doing anything. If you want to be a little bit more dressy than just wearing jeans, pair of leather pants. 
does the job. Then I have these, which I am loving. Freya and I are like sharing these. They're kind of like a sandal style shoe. But like I said, I'm super into platform things at the moment. They're like platform sandals. They go with everything. I love them. And I think just because they give you that little bit of height, there's something about it. I don't know. I've never been an open toe shoe wearer like during the day. I do wear thongs like if I have to go out to the shops really quickly. But like I've never been much of a sandal wearer. I've just, I've always been a sneaker gal. But I love these. Then they go with everything because they're like brown and black. These are in a size uh, 37 and they're amazing. And then finally, I have a little bag that still has the tag on it. How cute is she? I love this. I'm so obsessed with like all the little tiny bags that are on trend right now. Even though this isn't tiny, it just looks so cute. Because I think a white bag is just so much fun. It just spices things up a little bit. Let me have a look inside. I haven't opened this one up. It's just been sitting so I could show you guys. But yeah, I love this. So cute. Perfect for like a little brunch. Oh, I actually have, as I'm filming this, I have a birthday on the weekend that I could wear this to maybe. Depends what I wear. But yeah, love her. She's super cute. It's got like a crocodile print. That is everything that I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. I am honestly obsessed with everything that I got. I have to clean everything up now because it's just everywhere. Don't forget you can save 55% off by using the code Connor 55 And thank you again to Nasty Gal for sponsoring the weekly vlog this week. And let's jump straight in. Good morning guys, happy Monday. Sorry about that exposure and my hair, my word. 10 a.m. right now. I am about to go to hang out with Elise for today. It's actually her birthday this weekend, so I'm gonna go with her to find like an outfit. I stayed up really late last night getting the weekly vlog like pretty much edited and stuff. I think I went to bed at like 11.30, just so I could have the time today, like at the moment to like have time off and stuff. That's kind of what I do when it's like, because I work for myself, I can be flexible. So you kind of like put hours in where otherwise I'd have off so I could have now off and stuff Which is really good. Um, because otherwise it would have been stressing to get the weekly vlog done I haven't gone to the gym this morning. Honestly, I've been really bad about the gym Like I've just missed a bunch of days, which is fine. I'm gonna go this afternoon Hopefully if I can be motivated enough. But yeah, I woke up at my alarm and I was just like I don't want to go. Oh my god. Why is it so humid? It's pouring with rain right now and it is so hot in here. I've got really glowy makeup on. I did like some liquid blush, out of breath as per usual. I've got on these pants. I love these pants so much. They fit me so well. I've got on my platform white trainers. I was gonna wear a cap, but I was like maybe a bit much for like shopping on a Monday, but you know, and then we've got some the Apple Watch, which kind of ruins it, but oh well. Decking out with the jewelry. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. But I don't know if yeah, if you can hear. Let me actually open the door and show you outside. The rain. Look at my grass for starters. Like I don't know if you can see, but it has been like this heavy for the past literal week. But on my birthday, it happened to be nice and um, sunny. But it's good for the grass. <laughs> Very good for the grass, but yeah. It's just been rain, rain, rain. Even though it is raining, it's still so, the humidity, I think it's like 90%, let me check. Yeah, literally, the humidity is 91%. 91%, like what's the temperature? It's even, it says it's 22 degrees. Yeah, it's just very sticky, okay? Apparently it's meant to clear up by like towards the end of the week, but yeah i'm gonna head off now i think i just texted elise asking her if i could come but she hasn't replied yet i'm gonna head off i need to return this to elise as well <laughs> yeah i feel like i have to say something but i don't i am back from the shops now with elise successful shop what did i get i got groceries um, but Elise was getting an outfit for her birthday this weekend. But yeah, I picked up some groceries while I was there. I just got some almond milk, some mushrooms, tomatoes, carrots, and pizza of base. So. And there were also some packages at the door, four minutes left, that are in the, we're in the rain, but I'll open those. One is from Stax. I don't know what this is, actually. I think they are launching their, or like doing a restock maybe of their last line. Yeah, so 
so they've restocked their lock slime, which I don't have anything from actually. So, ooh, I actually quite like it. It's very like, um, what's the word? Like traditional active wear looking. Ooh, I can see a gray item. Lux Relax Tank. I love, ooh, I like that. That's cool. That would be a really comfortable pajama top. <laughs> that is so comfy. It's that real like stretchy jersey material. That's cool. I will be wearing that to bed. <laughs> and then we've got some like a sports bra. Let me open that up. I'm about to make my pancakes for like lunch. I did have sushi, um, but it's like 2 p.m. now. I think I'm just gonna make my pancakes because like, I literally had the donuts that I made yesterday. So at the end of last week's weekly vlog, I had like, I've eaten them all. I literally had three of them for breakfast. And then I felt a bit sick, so I didn't eat anything else. Um, ooh, they're a bit fun. They're cool, I like them. And then there's like a sports bra as well. It's kind of like best black fabric feeling. Nice. It's like in a kind of like a bluey gray color. My code with stacks is Connor 10, by the way. Then I got in a package from Breeze Balm. Open this up. So, Breeze Balm, what is this? Oh, that's right. They're launching. Connor, you are a total vibe. Honestly, this product is a game changer. There is nothing like feeling good naked. You're not wrong. I can smell this already. Indulge in your skin and keep shining bright. Straight away, I have seen this and I'm obsessed already. You guys will probably see the little naked candle bodies I have in the back. Bro, I love, that smells so good. I'm gonna add her to the collection. I've got all my birthday cards up at the moment. Oh my God, so cute. This is just like our little knickknack corner now. Oh my God, dead, that looks so cute. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I just got like a bunch of random stuff over there. What is this? Naked body cream, mirror match. Ooh, what are they? Oh, they're like little stickers. Ah, oh. oh, I get it. So they're stickers that you stick on like the mirror and stuff. So like if you want affirmations, I trust the universe. You know, I'll probably stick these on my like vanity mirror. I love all of me. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. And you are magic. That's really cute. Thank you so much, Breeze Balm. And then this is the actual product itself. So it's like, what is it? A body? Okay, so it's like a moisturizer. Ooh, I like the packaging. I've never used anything from Breeze Balm that's not like a lip balm. Just waiting for my camera to fill up. With winter approaching, I'm about to get really into... Oh, it doesn't really have a strong scent, to be honest. That feels quite nice. So I'll have to give that a go. Interesting. That. Thank you so much, Breeze Balm. I'm obsessed with the candle. It looks so cute. All right, let me just pop that there. So you see we've got all the candles. These ones are from Ads Blends on Instagram. And then this is a little purple one. Oh my God, I love that. See, this is a little corner of like goodies. This is what my brother and his girlfriend got for my birthday, which is so cute. I love that. We've got our candles. Um, probably need to declutter this a little bit. <laughs> but I love it. Make you want it forever Try to play a game but you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Kinda love you, wanna build your dreams on, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter and I got me I'm good I'm head over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave you so much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah, I already know better 24K got nothing on me Make you want it forever Try to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Chasing a ghost who don't try I'm top of the shelf, but you up to self to somebody else 
It's too late. Don't really care about all your mistakes. You were out of your league in the first place. Not even surprised that you let me down, down, down. I gave you too much honestly, and you closed the door. Now you're calling me, but I don't need you anymore. Yeah, I already know. Just got done at the gym. And that was a really good session. We got to film it as well. Let me just check. 247 active, 293 total calories. Felt really strong in that session. I'm making an admission to try and go every day this week, just because I don't think I've done every day in a long time. I'm gonna pop into the supermarket. By the way, that's the, um, what's it called, window wipers. I haven't done like a proper grocery shop, so I have, I, I keep having to like go to get like bits and bobs. So I'm just gonna get like blueberries. Is that it? And, and maple syrup. Maybe some other things because I can't help myself in the supermarket. Then we go home, have a shower, and try and get some work done. guys happy Tuesday I said that already it is now 10 20 a.m. I'm so glowy I used like all pretty much like li look at that that is the Emco liquid blush I'm not wearing any highlighter honestly I think I've said this before but I don't wear highlighter anymore because it's just like you don't need to I just use like a mixture of like setting sprays and like liquid blush and it gives me the same effect but Anyway, I'm about to do a bit of a content day today, I think. Just get some stuff done. It's still really, really rainy, but I'm hoping with positioning in the house, I can get some photos. I need to do some editing today. Yeah, my main thing is I want to get some Instagram content. I feel like I've been so slack on Instagram. I ordered some stuff on Amazon the other day. One of them you're actually on right now. Okay, so I have had the same like big tripod obviously i have my vlogging tripod which is different which is a little one but i've had the same damn tripod since i started my youtube and i have needed to buy a new one for so long i just never got around to it because i was like well it works so i don't really need one i'm weird like that like i will splurge on some things like that and then other things like this <laughs> something that i use for my job every single day i was like nah it's fine. But it finally like kind of broke. Part of it didn't work anymore. So I was like, okay, it's time to invest in a new tripod. So I got one from Amazon. I'll show it to you when I take you off the camera, but it's by the brand Noir. I think I have, actually, I think my lights are by this brand. It was, I think it was like $30. And honestly, it's great. She's blue. I'll show you if I can get you off. So it's much more like heavy duty than my other one, but like nothing too. It's got like a little hook there. So I can hook like clothes on there and stuff if I want to, or camera equipment. So that's going to make my life a little bit easier. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was $30. I also got a car phone mount. I might even be able to use that for my camera, I reckon. Maybe. And then I accidentally bought two, like, long charging cables because mine is currently kind of at the point where it doesn't work anymore. Um, honestly, the best purchase of your life will be a 10 foot long charging cable. This is by the Amazon Basics brand. Like, mine's lasted so long. I accidentally bought two, so I'll probably just give them to Freya. But yeah, I just got a grey one. It's more of like the one that I had before. I'll show you. It's so gross. It's a fabric one, which is quite good because then it doesn't like, it lasts longer. But this is current, this is my old one. I'm probably just going to throw it away because it doesn't really work. Like, it constantly just disconnects from my phone. When you buy a 10 foot charging cable, they also have like other lengths as well. It's life changing because you can literally plug it in anywhere. Like, when you're in bed, you don't have to be like on one side. Honestly, life changing. So yeah, I just got a new one, a gray one. So I'm, hope <laughs> I'm hoping it'll charge my phone a bit faster as well because my other one was taking so long. So that's lovely. Would recommend, it's super cheap too, but yeah, I'll give the other one to Freya because I don't really need two. Um, and then I bought a jar, kind of random. Why is that? Oh, it's like a square, like a big jar. Big mason jar. Oh, it comes with that as well. Oh, that's cool. Just for like drinking water out of. What is in there? So yeah, it's a 
preserve jar. But I feel like I can definitely put like coffees in here. That's a big coffee, but that'll just be nice for anything. <laughs> oh my god, I'm literally sweating. It's probably because I just blow dry my hair as well. I'm also tempted to buy the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I would only be getting it for the camera, but I've seen it and it looks really good. Oh, that's why. Dun, 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 dun. Why you dance with the devil? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Can you hear that? It's been like it's literally flooding. Like some places are flooding. So I hope everyone's staying safe and everything. We just have extreme weather here. It's like either so hot or it's flooding to the point where it's flooding. Oop. How am I gonna? Oh, I see. So I'm going to put this on the dashboard or the window. I think you can do either. I'd probably put it on the dash, maybe? But I can totally... No, I can't because it flips out to the side. Because my viewfinder flips out to the side instead of the top. I can't, like, wrap that. I don't think... I don't know if I'd be able to anyway. Hmm, probably not. I usually put my phone camera... My phone camera? I usually put my phone down near the speedometer and stuff. Okay, but let me test this out. And the only thing is, I do have a pop socket, which makes these types of things a little bit tricky. So it gets like right down the bottom there because of my pop socket. I mean, I probably, yeah. No, that's fine. Or I have to go above it, surely. Ooh, and then I can... Right. Ooh, what's this? Because I need maps for everything. <laughs> Those are my Amazon purchases. I'm going to go give this to Freya. guys it is currently quarter past four I am on my way to Elise's house I had a kind of productive day I just felt really tired at that like 3 p.m. even like 2 p.m. slump which sometimes happens and like the rainy weather really doesn't help but I did manage to get like two photos I did some editing could have been more productive but I'll cut my losses you know but yeah I'm heading to Elise's house because we're gonna go bowling tonight it's just some fun I will Probably be terrible at it. Love to watch the way you made me into a mess. Hands on my dress, neon red. You were everything I didn't need until you left. Now I'm dancing around my living room. I get drunk on the thought of you with I. When you were mine, see your eyes in every stranger. guys happy Wednesday. is it wednesday far out okay let me just pop you down where i can chat for a little second i just finished popping on a tiny bit of makeup so i look a bit crazy i don't know whether i'm gonna put this in this is a very very personal thing i mean it's not that good yeah no it is very personal backstory i'm 22 i think i went on we're gonna be chatting about the pill in this little segment so i went on the pill when i was about gosh how old was i I hadn't, I wasn't on the pill in high school. I think I went on it just before I kind of like got into my first serious relationship. One for like contraceptive reasons and the other was because of my skin. This, so this must've been like back in 2017, I think. So I was on the pill for about since then until like May of last year, I would say. I tried, tried a bunch of different ones, but then I think I just decided that I wanted to come off it because I think I was just like, I don't need to be on it and I would prefer 
not to be on the pill. So I came off that and then I kind of started my whole health and fitness journey and whatnot. So I think it was about April, April, May, perhaps. I actually say it in a vlog where I'm like, I'm just going to come off the pill. I was absolutely terrified because I was so scared my skin was going to freak out because a lot of people tend to do that. I think my skin was all right. I think it might have broken out a bit, but yeah. But when you come off the pill, everyone's body reacts really differently. Some people get it like the next month and it's totally normal. Some people it doesn't come back for like six to 12 months. And that's like pretty normal. It just depends. I think people say like it depends if you've been on the pill for a really, really long time. It can take longer to come back. I wasn't on it for that long considering like people are on it. Oh, it's so hot. It's good weather today though. People are on it for like years and years and years. So I didn't really know what to expect when it came off the pill. Now, I'm sure you're probably seeing where this is going. It had been about eight months, kind of like towards the end of last year. My period still hadn't come back yet. And I was kind of like, okay, just wanted to go to the doctor and make sure everything was fine. Like I wasn't, there wasn't something wrong, you know, because sometimes the pill, by the way, I'm not against the pill at all. Everyone's body requires something completely different. So I'm not bashing the pill at all. If you're on it, great. If you're not, also great. Like. It's so personal preference. But I went to the doctor just to get like hormones checked and wondered why I have no period, which is called amenorrhea, I believe. I went to the doctor and honestly, they didn't help that much. She was almost like, you can go back on the pill and see if it like stimulates anything. And I was just kind of like, no, I don't want to go back on the pill. At this point in my life, I don't really ever see myself going back on the pill. I would just prefer to not be on it. Is someone there? Hello? I would just prefer to not be on it. I just, it's just a personal preference. I know lots of people who aren't on it. If I can not put like synthetic hormones into my body, that's great, you know? The doctor was like, oh, you know, most of my hormones looked completely normal from her perspective. She suggested for me to book in with a gynecologist, which is actually tomorrow, my appointment. She was booked out for ages. So just to check everything's working fine. Then I decided to go see my naturopath. Her name is Tia. I'll leave her Instagram here. To just chat about like my period being the main thing, anxiety and like kind of my skin as well because my skin has been like breaking out a little bit. I saw her once. We started off on like a herbal tonic and then some like, um, like powder that you mix in with water. I took that for about three weeks and then I went back to her and I was able to give her some blood tests that I had done. Like I got all my blood tests sent from my doctor to her so she could tell like what was really low so Tia put me on these supplements that I take at night that are just to help with like hormones and having a healthy cycle now when did I go to the Tia I would it would have been in the like the maybe not last weekly vlog but the week before that when I went down to the Gold Coast like the day that the couch arrived so I started it then and I got my period last night which I was like, you're kidding. I had the highest hopes for going to Tia and like a naturopath, but you know, I feel like with naturopaths and with things like this, I don't have a pessimistic view, but I go in thinking like, because I, when I when I had really bad acne, I went to lots of naturopaths and every time I would leave thinking, yep, this is gonna work, this is the one. And I'd always, always be disappointed and it never worked. And then I went on Accutane. So I kind of have that, like I am very hopeful but I also have like a little voice in the back of my head that's like, it might not work. So when I got my period at Bali, <laughs> I texted Freya and I'm like, oh my God, Freya, guess what? I got my period. I was so excited. Yeah, that's my story. That's why I kind of never talk about periods that much in my vlog. It's because I haven't had one. I messaged Tia as well being like, oh, guess what? I got my period. So Tia is incredible. I think I saw her, my first appointment with her was like about a month ago and I've already got my period. I will leave her info down below. She is incredible. Wow. So yeah, I'm so hopeful that we can get like a regular cycle going and I can start tracking it. And it's just nice to know that like I'm a functioning woman. Yeah, that is a little bit of a life update. I literally rang my mom. <laughs> I rang my mom saying, I'm like, mom, guess what? I got my period. And she's like, oh, oh my gosh. Right now I need to go to, this, uh, to the chemist and get like pads and tampons because I don't have any of those and Freya doesn't have any either. If you happen to struggle with irregular cycles or amenorrhea, AKA no period, I will highly recommend Tia. She's based on the Gold Coast. I believe she does Zoom calls as well. Um, and you can buy her like products online and stuff. But yeah, I can't believe I got my period back like within a month. Boom. She's magic. Whatever the heck she's put in those herbs, 
has worked wonders. And it was funny because when I was bowling, I thought I didn't even think, oh, period cramps. But I felt what it was. I felt period cramps and I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. But my mind didn't go to period cramps and then I went to the toilet and I was like, oh, what? But anyway, it's 10 a.m. now. I haven't gone to the gym this morning. I think I'm going to go in the afternoon. I kind of liked going in the afternoon on Monday, so we'll see. But yeah, I want to have a productive day today. I've been feeling a little bit sluggish, which explains a lot because of my period. Now I know. Yeah, I want to do some filming, get some photos, do all the things. But first things first, tampons and pads and maybe some naprogesiacs. <laughs> back from chemist warehouse i'm just having some rice cakes with peanut butter and i'm gonna make a smoothie this has been my go-to smoothie at the moment so we're gonna do some ice some water frozen cauliflower of course some almond milk then i'm gonna use naked harvest strawberries and cream protein my code with naked harvest is just connor and i do a serving size which is like 30 grams so this is the naked harvest by the way uh naked green gorgeous greens in mango magic then i'm actually gonna pour it into my big jar just so it looks a bit cuter let's see if i can not spill this just everywhere That is gonna be my smoothie. Probably kind of lunch, actually. So yum, because it's like strawberry and mango. Okay, I've just been doing some computer work. All right, it's now like 12.30. I'm about to get some content for Demologica, I think. And then I'm gonna film the like two talking sections of some try on hauls and i actually just put in my hair extensions just because i was like a bit bored not bored but i just thought it'd be fun just to get some photos with the men and i feel so oh it's so much fun it's very it's like a lot of hair these are by hey stacy um i do have a discount code with them i think it's just kind of 10. they're like the most incredible hair extensions ever you can't even tell like the color match is so good i'm just gonna brush out the curls right now brush them out i have the color jocelyn for reference like look at that brush them out. i have such thick hair to begin with so whenever i put my extensions in it's like so much hair look at that i love it i love it i love it i love it oh my god i'm obsessed i wish my hair would look like this all the time i can't wait for it to get even longer the amount of times that doors have slammed today oh my god it's so much fun okay i'm gonna put the air conditioning on actually because it's hot it's pouring with rain yesterday and it's dinging on today okay so i'm filming on my phone right now i thought i was charging my camera but i had it like turned on plugged in anyway as you can see we have a delivery this is my new vanity table for my beauty room. I'm so excited. I don't know how I got this inside. Honestly, I am one just strong, independent woman, you know? She's very heavy, so I'm gonna open it in here just with the air conditioning on. I'm also making some donuts or like blueberry. It's meant to be like a, a bread or like a muffin cake thing, but I'm just using the donut mold, so I'm just preheating the oven. So yeah, I'm going to open this and Start assembling. It's from Etoile Collective. Uh, my vanity mirror is from there. I'll show you. So this is the state of my beauty room. Makeup everywhere. But that mirror right there is amazing. And that's from Etoile. So I'm going to try and open her up.
it definitely needs some more organization in terms of like in the drawers and stuff but wow i'm so hang on but i absolutely love it it's so stunning so this is the extra large vanity table from etoile collective i love the little diamond like knobs yeah it's not organized properly but i've also just put this little puff in here as the seat for the time being i honestly don't hate it i feel like it looks quite good i'll probably get a proper chair eventually i'm also filming this clip on the sunday um, but i'm inserting it here so it makes more sense but then you have the light as well which is super bright and it's just gorgeous because i can see everything i can see where all my products are and it's just like super glamorous. So this is like, if you have a makeup lover in your life and you want to get them something like spoil them or even for yourself, like honestly, this is stunning. And then yeah, obviously the Etoile mirror can like attach to it as well, which is so cool. I love it, but you don't need to buy both. Like you, they sell these like separately. Now I really want to get a mirror in here, I think. So it can be like, you know, the beauty room. You can try on outfits and stuff. I'm very tired as I'm filming this, if you can't tell. But yeah, I've just got like my curly here, makeup brushes, some jewelry, makeup wipes, and all that jazz. So, um, and then I've got one of my Alex drawers over there, which I'll probably just leave there for the time being. That probably will be hung maybe up there. We shall see. Okay, I just got back from the gym. I've had a shower, washed my hair. I'm just doing some washing. I'm gonna try and like get stuff done while also like cleaning the house kind of today or just getting like house errands done. This is the state, hang on. This is where my computer is currently at. It's not focusing, but it's just restoring. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not freaking out yet because the last time I did this, it worked, it fixed it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I did. And I did pop into the supermarket to pick up a few things. I really need to make sure I do a proper shop Sunday or Monday, just so I don't, because I think when I don't do that, I keep, I go to the supermarket every like couple days, or like not, not every day, but like a lot, because I keep running out of things, which is a mistake. So that's something I've learned. It works for me going like, do one big shop on like the Sunday and then like a midweek shop to pick up maybe like fresh produce or something. I got some carrots. Some pizza sauce. Well, that's actually tomato paste, but like, same thing. Cucumbers. Zucchini. <laughs> same, same. And then almond milk, which I stocked up. Usually I try and get a stock up when it's on sale, but I just was like, I use almond milk all the time. Just buy your darn almond milk. And then I got two pizza bases. Okay, so my computer is like stuck Ex well, not exporting, but like um, restoring. It's like stuck on this number. I'm worried I'm gonna have to literally just like wipe my computer, which I've got a hard drive, so it wouldn't be like too, too bad. And surprisingly, I'm not that stressed, which is so unlike me. I'm just like, right, you know, it is what it is. It's probably your fault. Someone DM'd me like, babe, it's time to get a new computer. <laughs> but I'm like, let's just, just refilm it. That's the only option you've got. So luckily I've got some of the content. It's the nasty gal portion, but I've got all the weekly vlog content like still on my memory card. I just have to edit the whole thing again, which is fine. But yeah, I just got finished filming the clips again. It's like 2 p.m. And I'm obsessed with this body, not bodysuit, this um, like blazer pants. Oh, like obviously you probably don't wear it without. I mean, you could just put some like fashion tape there. I feel so badass right now. Like the power in wearing a blazer. I feel very like Mr. Grey will see you now. <laughs> but like the female version, you know? So I love this. I love the pants. I need to just take them up a bit. I need to charge my camera because it's running out. Look how long my hair is. I feel like I have kind of long hair now. For so long, I've always been like, I have short hair, I have short hair, I have short hair. And now all of a sudden it's like low-key long. Okay, so I managed to get everything that I needed to get done, kind of. Um, but this is what I'm gonna wear. This is like my favorite set ever. I have it in black and white. It's just like nice and simple, easy. I feel so comfortable in pants as well. It's not gonna be too crazy or anything. I'll probably just have like a couple drinks and then honestly just drive home. So now you're here again knocking at my door A little too late for, I'm sorry for The lights went out cause you kept cutting the cord And I started to fade into your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to
Good morning guys. Literally nearly good afternoon. I'm currently driving home from like dropping someone off. Right now, it's a beautiful day today, but I'm just currently driving to the supermarket. I'm gonna pick up some food, getting my hair done on Tuesday, which I'm excited for. I did like a poll on Instagram and asked you guys like what you thought I should do. I'm thinking I might go a little bit more natural in terms of like, like I really love Sammy Robinson's hair. I put like a photo up of her hair and I asked you guys and it was like 80% for the more natural look. So yeah, I'll see what we can do. But yeah, I think I also might try and pop in and see my family because I haven't seen them. Like I haven't been home in ages it feels like. I really need to make sure I get some stuff done even though it's like 12 p.m. already. While you were chasing everything else but me I'm starting to break out from your grave See I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me coming back to life Okay, I'm gonna end off this weekly vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We are officially one month in the house. It feels so much longer than that and I feel like I'm like wondering why I don't feel like I'm in routine and then I've realized it's literally been one month. So like I need to cut myself some slack when it comes to just not having everything organized. Each week is getting better in terms of routine and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. Please give a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you in the next one.